Hi families, Mallory Cameron here, the digital instructional coach at the middle school, and I am going to walk you through how to utilize Canvas. If you have not already signed up for your OCPS parent portal, then you can follow the directions in my other video to do that. And I also have included directions on Skyward. However, this one's going to be focused all on Canvas. So once you are on your launch pad, you will go to the Canvas icon, click on Parent Login. It will automatically bring you to your dashboard. So I want to point out a few things here. The first thing that you'll notice is this big screen at the top. What this is, is this is an announcement from the principal or from the district. So this will go to both students and parents, and it will give them important information for you to have as a parent, and also your child will get it on their end. Next thing that I want to point out is all of these tiles that are on the dashboard. What these are, are all of the courses that your child has. So math, ELA, science, social studies. You'll also see some additional ones like the code of conduct, if they're in tutoring. We have our student body canvas page. All of these are course tiles that you are able to go into to get more information about that specific class or program. Next thing on the dashboard that I want to point out is this to-do list over on the side. So your child will see this, but you are also able to see it. And what it is is just a to-do list for your child's upcoming assignments. So it helps you to stay on top of their assignments and help to encourage them to get them completed on time. For the sake of the tutorial, I am going to go into one of the classes to show you what it actually looks like to view specific things within the course. So I can click here for the tech support course with Mrs. Cameron. When you click on any of the course tiles, it's going to automatically bring you to the home page. Every teacher's home page may look differently. Some teachers may have icons that lead you to different parts. Others may just have their contact information. You'll also see on some pages that they have announcements that they have pushed out to the students so that it's right there in your child's face when they open up their course each day. On the left hand side is the navigation bar and that will be in every course. So this Navy navigation bar is always going to be there. That's the entire Canvas navigation. This orange one is specific to the course tile you have clicked in. Announcements is going to be when the teacher gives announcements to the students or the whole class as a whole and some may use it more frequently than others. Modules is going to be where everything is housed. So all of the lessons, the assignments, notes, quizzes, everything that is housed in Canvas is housed in these modules. And every teacher organizes their modules differently. So you will have to get familiar with each course to know how to maneuver it exactly. So for example, in this course, it has resources for the students at the top, and then it goes into a week by week basis. Some teachers organize it by units or chapters. So like I said, it's really just dependent on teacher preference. You're also able to see grades when you click on the grades tab. When clicking on the grades tab, you can toggle to all grading periods and it will list out your assignments for the course. This is a new student, so there aren't any assignments in this course. However, it would break it down for each assignment, what their score is, if it is missing, when the due date was, and things like that. So this is going to be the holy grail for parents on helping to stay on top of assignments. The official gradebook is Skyward. However, students are submitting the majority of their assignments in Canvas. So we always say look at the assignments in Canvas and then weekly make sure you're double checking Skyward for that accurate grade representation because sometimes the average in Canvas doesn't reflect their true grade because teachers may not grade every assignment given if it's notes or warm ups or things like that. So just keep that in mind. So those are the main components. Other teachers may have different things in there like Google Drive, Nearpod, Syllabus, iExcel. Those are mainly for students to utilize. As a parent, you're going to use home announcements, modules, grades, and sometimes the teachers will have the assignments or the quizzes there as well. 
To go back to that main page, you click on Dashboard. This courses icon just gives you a list view of the courses rather than seeing it in the tile view. You won't really ever have to click on that course view. Calendar is going to give you a calendar view of your child's upcoming assignments or past assignments. So as teachers add assignments with due dates to their courses, it will auto-populate here. So on the right-hand side, you are able to toggle and select just a certain class. If you just wanted to focus on math, then you could focus just on the math class, for example. Or if you wanted to see all of them, then you could keep them all illuminated and they have different colors that kind of represent each course. As you click on a specific assignment, it will give the teacher name, when the due date is, and any directions that were listed on the main assignment. So that's helpful for you and for students to utilize. You can also click on it and it will take you right to that assignment that they needed to complete. So next is inbox. In the inbox, you have the option to receive messages that your child's teacher may send, but you also have the ability to compose messages, which I have another video showing you how to do that. History, studio are not going to be ones that you as a parent will utilize very often, so I'm not going to get into those. And then help is going to give you some resources that Canvas has provided for you as a parent that may be beneficial. Lastly, if you go to account, I want to point this out, when you go to account, you're able to modify notifications and do some different things within there. I'm not gonna get in detail on this video to keep it short. However, I do have other videos that you're able to check out about how to do those specific things. I hope this was helpful and we are excited to have your child at our school.